The next big tech breakthrough. Hi guys. Are you tech enthusiastic? Do you want to discover more about the latest and future tech eras in the world? What new technologies are poised to spark the next wave of game-changing ideas and solutions? If you're interested in the future and the revolutionary potential of technology, you've come to the perfect spot. In today's video, we'll look at the world's next big tech breakthrough. Technology is growing at a quick speed nowadays, allowing for faster change and advancement, leading the rate of change to accelerate. However, it is not just developments in technology and new technologies that are developing, much more changed this year as a result of the outbreak of COVID-19, making tech workers recognize that their position in the contactless world will not be the same tomorrow. In 2023-24, tech professionals will be continually learning, unlearning, and relearning. Protein Folding with AI Almost everything your body accomplishes involves proteins. The activity of a protein is determined by how it folds. However, determining the structure of proteins might take months. Now, an AI dubbed AlphaFold 2 has figured out this long-standing biological riddle, which might lead to the rapid development of medications for a wide spectrum of ailments. A protein is composed of an amino acid ribbon that wraps up into an arrangement of complicated twists and twirls. In a lab, determining that shape and hence the protein's function can take months. Scientists have been experimenting with automated methods of prediction to make the procedure easier for years. However, no approach has ever come close to matching human precision. DeepMind's AlphaFold 2 altered that. The program, which employs a deep learning AI approach, can predict the form of proteins to the nearest atom, marking the first time that a computer succeeded in matching the slow but exact procedures employed in the lab. It is now being used by scientific teams throughout the world to study cancer, antibiotic resistance, and COVID-19. DeepMind has also created a public database, which it is populating with protein structures predicted by AlphaFold 2. It presently has roughly 800,000 entries, and DeepMind claims that in the next year, it will add over 1 million nearly every protein known to science. DeepMind has spun out its work as isomorphic labs, which it says will cooperate with current biotech and pharmaceutical firms. AlphaFold 2's actual effect might require a year or two to become obvious, but the possibility is swiftly unfolding in labs throughout the world. Proof of Stake Proof of Stake is a blockchain consensus system. It is a method of determining which user or users will validate fresh blocks of transaction and get a reward for doing so successfully. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies consume enormous amounts of power. This is because of the new method of transaction verification, which necessitates a substantial amount of computational power. Proof of stake allows for transaction verification while utilizing less energy. Ethereum intends to switch to its infrastructure this year, reducing energy consumption by 99.95%. In proof-of-stake validator selection, a pseudo-random mechanism is used to choose who gets to validate a fresh batch of transactions. Other characteristics, such as stake size and age, impact who becomes a validator in this system. Validators in a proof-of-stake blockchain earn transaction fees but no compensation for confirming blocks. As a result, there's no need to use a lot of computer power because it's not a race to the finish line like proof-of-work systems. So, sure, we can say that proof-of-stake is the cryptocurrency's future. AI Synthetic Data Synthetic data is a strong tool with many uses, but it is especially valuable in artificial intelligence and machine learning. A massive quantity of data is required to train AI. However, such data is frequently untidy or represents real-world biases, or there may be privacy concerns regarding the information contained. To sidestep these issues, some businesses are beginning to manufacture and sell fake data. It's not ideal, but it might be a better approach to teaching artificial intelligence. Other sorts of data synthesis include data augmentation, pseudonymization, and anonymization. These approaches are essential for every modern data science team. Professionals, on the other hand, use synthetic data to insert details into their AI models and gain artificially manufactured data that is more useful than direct observation. To recreate a collection of data with the proper statistical features, synthetic data may be used for hackathons, product demos, and internal prototyping. 
Banks and financial organizations, for example, employ synthetic data by running multi-agent models to investigate market behavior, make better loan choices, and prevent financial fraud. Retailers employ synthetic data for self-service checkout systems, cashierless shops, and consumer demographic research. Furthermore, synthetic data can boost the reliability of machine learning models. Real-world data is haphazard and does not include all conceivable combinations of circumstances or occurrences. Synthetic data can mitigate this by creating data at the boundaries or for circumstances that have not yet been seen. Because of the range of its applicability, it will be a vital AI accelerator. Whereas a shortage of data renders AI ineffective owing to bias or the inability to distinguish uncommon or unique circumstances, synthetic data makes AI conceivable. A chip design that changes everything. The semiconductor industry is experiencing a significant transformation. Chip designs have long been licensed by manufacturers from a few large corporations. Now, RISC-V, a popular open standard, is appending traditional dynamics of power by making it easy for anybody to design a processor. Many startups are looking into the potential. Its open-source nature, flexibility, and performance benefits are attracting a diverse variety of enterprises and developers, and it is expanding ecosystem is encouraging cooperation and innovation in the RISC-V community. While ARM and x86 remain dominant in some sectors, it is apparent that RISC-V has begun to gain traction and will do so in the future years. Around 3,100 members worldwide, including enterprises and academic institutions, are already working together to build and improve these standards through the nonprofit RISC-V International. Intel launched a $1 billion fund in February 2022 to help firms develop RISC-V CPUs. With 10 billion cores already sold, RISC-V chips have begun to appear in earphones, hard drives, and AI processors. RISC-V designs for servers and spaceships are also being developed by companies. RISC-V supporters expect that the chips will be ubiquitous in a few years. James Webb Space Telescope NASA's $10 billion James Webb Orbit Telescope, which will be released in December 2021 after decades of preparation, is the biggest ever flown to orbit and is a hundred times more powerful than the one that preceded it, the Hubble Space Telescope. It is also particularly built to detect infrared light, allowing it to see past dust and far backward in time to the formation of the universe's earliest stars and galaxies. JWST was designed specifically for this type of cosmic time travel. Its primary mirror is 21 feet wide, three times the size of Hubble's, and hence has significantly more resolving capability. It carries a sun shield the size of a tennis court to shield its mirror and sensors from the sun's heat and glare. Engineers built JWST's mirror and sun shield to fold up and fit within a rocket fairing, opening after launch when the telescope traveled 1.5 million kilometers from Earth to its final orbit. Astronomers expect that JWST will help them put together how the universe's initial galaxies formed after the Big Bang. But it is not the main purpose of JWST. The telescope is utilized in all branches of astronomy. It might give a unique insight into planets in distant solar systems, allowing us to determine the composition of their atmospheres. It will see the creation of new worlds, capture breathtaking photographs of nebulae, investigate the structure of galaxy clusters, and much, much more. Discoveries are made virtually every day and will continue to do so over the telescope's expected lifetime of more than 20 years. The first spectacular views of the distant universe recorded by the world's strongest space observatory prompted amazement and astonishment. And this is only the beginning. Discoveries will occur nearly as quickly as scientists can examine the data that is already streaming in. Astronomy has entered a new age. In conclusion, seeking the next major technological achievement is an ever-evolving adventure with enormous potential for reshaping the globe as we know it. It has emphasized the importance of developing technologies like AI, blockchain, and biotechnology that are set to disrupt industries ranging from health and banking to communication and transportation. Yet, the achievement of these advances is fraught with ethical quandaries, such as worries about privacy, employment displacement, and social effect. Collaboration between industry, academics, and policymakers is critical for effectively navigating these obstacles. Society may capitalize on the promise of these advances to create a more promising and inclusive future by promoting an environment that supports research, expenditure, and sustainable growth.
Thank you for spending time with us. To keep updated, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell button.